Okay, now in this video, we're going to set up sprinting. So that's going to be using our custom character movement component. So what we can do here is I'm going to copy one of these inputs, and I'm going to go over here to the right-hand side and paste it. So I'm going to set this one to be shift. So when we press shift, I want it to sprint. When we release it, I want it to stop sprinting. So the way we're going to handle that is grab out our character movement component. And here you can see that it's just of the type character movement component. But if we search for cast, we can cast it to our custom character movement component like so. And that's what we want to do. So if we hold shift, we want to call that sprinting. So here we're going to pass in true. And then we want to do the same thing for released. So when we release it, like so, we want to stop sprinting. So this will kind of give us the ability to start and stop very easily. So lastly, let's click on our character movement component, and we want to slow down our default max walk speed. So our max walk speed is going to just be, well, actually it's already set by default at 150. So again, I forgot because I overwrote it. So let's save and try it out. So we start walking and hold shift. Now we're sprinting, we can let go, and we can start and stop sprinting. Now, one thing we're going to want to do, because we changed it in the previous video, let's click on our FPS template character component, change the movement component sprint speed to the default of 350. So the reason we're choosing 350 is because if we click on the character movement component, we can see that our sprint speed, this is the very max, is 350. So there we go. Now we're like normal. So we're walking right now. Here we can sprint and all that fun stuff. So that basically takes care of just about everything. So now let's cover some of the options. And it might actually be better if I showed it in this view so we can kind of see a little bit more of the arms and you can get a better judgment by the sway. Yeah, I think that'll be better. So what are some of the options that we have here? We have the sprint speed. So this is our maximum forward sprint speed. So if I change this to 600, we're going to go fast. So we're walking and now we're sprinting. So again, if you watched the previous video, you would know that when you change the max sprint speed, you want to change it in here in the character movement component as well. So that's basically what that controls. Now, we can you can really ignore this. You can play around with it. It doesn't really affect you. Now, we can only sprint forwards. That makes it so if we want to sprint forwards, actually, I'll show this at 600. That'll probably be a better idea to visualize it. So if we have can only sprint forwards checked, that means we can only sprint forwards. So here I'm walking and I'll sprint and I'm going to hold D. As you can see, I am not, I'm no longer sprinting. When I let go of D, I'm running forwards again. I hold A. I am now going slow. I let go. So this basically makes it so you cannot sprint. You can't sprint and strafe at the same time. Hence why it disables these options. So next up is sprint sideways. So let me try to sprint sideways as is. So I go left and I hold shift. Nothing happens. I do the same thing going to the right. Nothing happens. However, if I check sprint sideways and I start moving and I hold shift, you can see I'm now sprinting to the left. I go right and I hold shift. I'm now sprinting to the right. I don't need to move forwards while I am sprinting. So if I uncheck this, you still have the ability to strafe. So if I run and I hold A, you can see I'm, I'm able to go left and right. I'm still able to strafe. But lastly, sprint backwards. So this does the exact same thing, just backwards. So I can't run left. I can't run right. I can run forwards. And if I go backwards, I can also run backwards. It's kind of hard to see because I'm not, not very close to stuff, but I go backwards. I'm sprinting. I let go. Sprint. I let go. So basically, you can sprint going backwards as well. So, yeah, that basically kind of sums it up. And you can control the speed for all of these. So basically, here's your sprint sideways speed. So if I sprint just sideways, let me go something crazy like 1,200. So here I'm sprinting forwards. This is at 600. If I strafe, I go to the angle. We go crazy because it goes basically to whichever one is the maximum value. So if I sprint to the left, I'm going at 1,200 like so, if I sprint forwards, 
I'm going at 600. So it controls basically based upon which one is the maximum speed. So I prefer to leave that at the default and same thing here. So basically you have the most sprint speed going forwards, slightly less going left to right, and even less sprinting straight backwards. Now all of these controls are the exact same for sprint while crouched. So you have your default, like your forward crouch sprint speed. You can choose to only be able to sprint forwards. You have the ability to sprint sideways and control that speed and sprint backwards and control that speed. So you can kind of tweak these to your heart's desire and really just kind of do whatever. So that pretty much wraps up. Let me turn this back to 350 again. That pretty much sums up everything in regards to the character movement component. It's just I don't want to add a whole lot to it. I want to keep it nice and simple and add something that pretty much every, I could say every game for the most part, is going to have. And again, this is through the character movement component, so this comes with prediction and all that fun stuff, client correction. So you should be good to go. You shouldn't have any other rubber banding effect when you're at higher latencies or ping like you would with traditional setups that don't go this route. So yeah, that pretty much sums everything up, and I will see you in the next video.